Good morning and welcome to Sunday. This morning I had the experience of dealing with snark, snarkiness. It was a pretty insignificant uh, circumstance. An email was sent out. I responded to the email and uh, ended up responding to all because all were in the sending line and not in the BCC, blind CC line. And someone responded back and with snarkiness of, hey, there's this cool little button called reply all and you don't have to click it. And I thought, you know, I really dislike snark. <laughs> I find it useless, unhelpful, uh, damaging. And I've, I think I've always felt that way, but definitely now in the age of social media, I would say that I am very clear on my snark boundaries. No discussion is helped by an attitude of snarkiness. No civil dialogue is ever moved forward with an attitude of snark. It doesn't add anything, it doesn't bring anything, it doesn't help anything, it doesn't clarify anything. What it does do is hurt, harm, discourage, deflate, demean others. It shows an ego out of control. It shows a need to dominate. Um, it's just, it's gross, really. And it, I find what's most interesting for me, I find that I have this visceral response to it. Like my heart, my heartbeat goes up, I get a little nauseous. And um, I have like a full body physical response to it, which I think is interesting for me to look at. It's, it's a wonderful learning curve for me to look at. What does that mean? Where in my life has snarkiness hurt me? Well, where hasn't it? I guess is the question. Why does it have such a deep resonating response in me? And I think it's because it's related to bullying and, and just generally being mean, meanness. I don't jive to meanness. Even when I don't like someone or I dislike someone or I don't agree with someone, I don't find that bringing snarkiness to the table is a helpful way for me to move forward or for them to learn anything. Even if I had the opportunity to sit down with this current president, I wouldn't be snarky. What would be the point? It doesn't bring anything to the table. It doesn't help anything. It doesn't heal anything. So that's my morning reflection, that I want to live in a no snark zone and I choose to. And when I can, I gently point it out. Hey, that was snarky. I don't think that was necessary. And I do that without snark. <laughs> so, brief message on this gloomy Sunday morning. Let's live in a no snark zone. See how that feels. Natty agrees. We wish you a wonderful Sunday. Peace.